Let's do it. Ten years of work right there. I got to demo them a little bit earlier today. <gasps> oh, I heard someone on your team call these the real-life Tony Stark glasses. We're getting there. But I'd love to just hear in your voice, what are these? Well, these are the first full holographic augmented reality glasses, I think, that exist in the world. Um, we've made, I think it's a, f- a few thousand or something, right? Um, very hard to make each one of these. But this is the culmination of 10 years of research and, and development that we've done to basically miniaturize all the computing that you need to have glasses, not a headset, but glasses that can put full holograms into the world with a wide field of view. So you can imagine sort of in the future, we'd be having a version of this conversation where you know, maybe I or, or you are not even here. It's like one of us is physically here and the other one is here as, a, as kind of a full body hologram. And it's not just a video call. You can actually interact. You can do things. I mean, in the, the demo, we had the you know, ping pong and games and things like that. But I mean, you could, you can interact, you can work together, you can, you know, play poker, play chess, whatever, like the holographic cards, holographic board game. I I just think it's going to be wild. It's going to remake, I think, so many different fields that we think about today from how we work and productivity to a lot of things around science, a lot of things around education, entertainment, fun, gaming. Um, So, but this is just the beginning. You know, this is the first version. It's like, it's a prototype version that we've made uh, in order to develop the next version, which is hopefully going to be the consumer one that we sell to a lot of people. Why build these? Well, I think it's going to be the next major computing platform. So if you look at like the grand arc of computing over time, you've you've gone from like mainframes to um, computers that basically like live on you know, your desk or on a tower to phones that you have in your hand that you basically like, you know, can take with you everywhere that you want, but it's, it's pretty unnatural, right? It takes you away from the world around you. And um, I think that the trend in computing is it gets more ubiquitous, it gets more natural, um, and it just gets more social, right? So you want to be able to interact with people in the world around you. And I, I think that this is probably going to be the next major platform after phones. Look at these two. These yeah. are the 